In the previous video, I have mentioned that we will use two algorithms, random walk and binary space partitioning, to create our 2D dungeon procedurally. We will explore how those two algorithms work in this video, but first, I would like to explain the higher level concept of procedural generation of structures such as dungeon or a house. The basic idea is that a dungeon is a room or a set of rooms. All areas should be traversable, so usually beside rooms we also need to have some corridors connecting those areas. Now we have two methodologies to create dungeons procedurally. First one is corridors first, meaning that we will create a series of corridors so that we know that they are connected together, so they are traversable, and later we are going to randomly select points on the path of those corridors and create a room there using, for example, a random walk algorithm. The second methodology is room first approach, meaning that we prioritize creating playable areas, so rooms, and only after we generate the rooms, we want to connect them using corridors. This poses an issue of how to create those corridors uh, to connect in a meaningful way the rooms. Here we are going to only focus on one, a very simple method to create those corridors. Now, let's explore the algorithms. The random walk is an algorithm where we place an agent, you can imagine a worker, at a specific starting position. We ask the agent, to select a random direction and walk one step towards this direction. We also define how many steps should the agent take before calling it a day. If we iterate over this, we can create sort of an island shape, so the area that is populated very densely near the starting point. We can also provide a number of iterations and iterate over the result while selecting a new position, new start position for a new agent from the already populated positions, meaning that we ensure that we have the connection between the newly generated path by the random walk and the previously generated ones. This allows us to create a much bigger area compared to always starting from the same start position. The second algorithm is the binary space partitioning. And this allows us to split a given area into smaller rooms. The basic idea is that we take a big space and split it vertically or horizontally. So we continue the process of splitting the areas resulting with the previous split until the areas are too small to split, but still can fit a room of a specific size that we have set as the minimum width and height. And now for our conditions, we are going to discuss it in when we implement this binary space partitioning algorithm. We also want to account for the offset, because if we use to the full extent the areas, then it will still create a big, one big room. So instead of this, we want to add some offset, like one tile from each side, so the rooms are separated by walls. We should end up with set of rooms, and if we create corridors between those rooms, we will end up with a dungeon that is made up of multiple rooms connected with corridors. And at the end of this tutorial, we are going to ensure that we surround those areas that we have found and the corridors with wall tiles. We are going to discuss more how we are going to create walls around those areas in the future episodes. Now this concludes the theory section. In the next video, we will set up the example project and start implementing the procedural generation in Unity 2020. See you in the next video.